creating MySQL-based WP data tables with server-side processing. As I mentioned in previous tutorial, uh, MySQL and server-side processing is probably the only solution for you if you have a large data set which is larger than, let's say, a couple of thousands of rows. But the reason is the different principles for uh, tables with server-side processing and without server-side processing. Uh, let me explain. Uh, for example, tables without server-side processing work like this. First, WP data tables query the data source. It fetches complete result set. So whether it is 20 rows or 20 thousands of rows, it reads a complete table and sends it to the page. Then this page needs to be generated completely, sent to the end user, then on, in the user's browser it has to be parsed and then the JavaScript needs to prepare the interactive table, which is of course a very expensive operation if we are talking about many thousands of rows. Each row can be several kilobytes even if it has many columns and when we have a lot of rows then uh, it can take those tens of megabytes of data just to transfer and just to transfer this it takes a lot of time and then to parse it and uh, to sort it and to do whatever is it it's additionally a very expensive operation so the user experience with such large tables won't be very nice so server-side processing has a different principle every time it fetches only the given number of rows from the server so if it's defined to show 10 entries it always returns only 10 entries whatever you do if you sort by any column or if you switch the page or if you use the filter it sends a request to to the mysql server and this request says we have this filter parameters defined we want to see uh, data from the second page etc and mysql processes these requests really quickly quickly so uh, for the front-end user these tables look almost the same but they function quickly even though they have thousands and thousands sometimes hundreds of thousands of rows so for example this table here has ten thousands of entries and you can see that uh, it doesn't take too long for me to switch pages to uh, filter to sort etc so uh, we have a separate video tutorial on server-side processing explaining how it works in deeper detail and in this one I will just show you what, is, what are the necessary steps for creating a WP data table with server-side processing. Same as in previous one, we will use an uh, SQL dump, but this time it's sample lar large table SQL uh, which has 10,000 of rows. Uh, if we use 10,000 of rows from CSV file, the table might crash or even if it won't, it will work really slow, uh, as I mentioned. So let's create a table. We open the WordPress backend, go to WP Data Tables, add from data source. And let's say MySQL large table example. Sorry, my mistake. First, we need to import the dump, of course. We are going to PHP My Admin. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous tutorial, uh, PHP My Admin is an excellent tool for managing MySQL databases, and almost every host and every even local host has this installed. If you don't, uh, you can easily download it. It's a free software. So we open our database in PHP My Admin, go to Import tab, go to Choose File and find our dump. Uh, you can also download this dump to try the same steps. We, we, uh, it's available for download on our site for free, of course. So we choose it. When you import dumps, just check that it doesn't extend the uh, maximum uh, limit, which is stated here. In our case, it doesn't. So we just click Go. It takes some time to uh, import. It 
says that we had 1001 query and we can see that uh, we have a new table here which is called sample large table which has 10,000 of rows we can also see the query that we need to uh, return all the data and we, we will need this query exactly in WP data tables so we go back to uh, to WordPress backend where we started to create our WP data table uh, say MySQL large type table example choose MySQL query as a type and we type in the the query in the SQL uh, editor select everything from sample large table we can uh, skip all the other settings just click save if it will, if it will works it does it returned all our uh, columns and first I would like to show you what happens if we don't use server-side processing so we will go ahead and a new page and say MySQL with server side processing video demo and just insert the table that we just created publish and go to view the page So you see it's loading really slowly, you don't see anything and it keeps loading and I can't even, uh, can't even scroll, <laughs> now I can but it's loading and loading and loading forever. Okay now it rendered but what happens if I want to sort? See I click sort by ID and it's taking several seconds little bit better by strings but when I sort by ID or by product it's taking some time uh, okay so what do we do to enable server-side processing we just go back to our table settings and just tick this checkbox nothing else we click Save and we reload our page see it loads like 20 times faster and sorting okay it's not instant uh, and 10,000 of uh, rows for such small table isn't um, such a big deal but uh, you see that it's still faster and if it gets more if it's thousands I'm sorry hundreds of thousands of rows or millions of rows it will work even faster there are a couple of things that I need to mention here we have a separate uh, overview on the server-side processing feature where we cover all, all the limitations and stuff like that but also just to mention it here if you want to use a filter type called uh, select box or checkbox for example for product for tables with server-side processing, you would need to uh, add the possible values manually. We are working on avoiding this for future versions, but for now, unfortunately, you need to enter it here. So Microsoft, sorry, it's for company, Apple Systems, but it's not for product. It's for the company. The product will be product one, product two, product three. And the filter type here will be select box, and here, for example, checkbox. Alright, we'll just leave select box as well. So when we do save and then we reload the page. We see that uh, filters are
are applied here, but we see in the possible options only what we've input manually. Another thing I wanted to mention that uh, isn't really an issue with the uh, WP data tables, uh, but with large tables. When tables get huge, when they have millions of rows, even MySQL can start working slowly if you don't use correct indexes, if you don't use correct data types. So if you don't fine-tune your tables on MySQL side correctly, it will still work slowly, even with server-side processing. So uh, if you have a huge table with millions of rows, please be advised that you need to study how indexes work, to add correct indexes to your table. And when you improve this, when you optimize it on uh, MySQL side, it will also work correctly on uh, WP data table side as well. So thanks for watching and see you in next tutorials. Purchase WP Data Tables exclusively on Code Canyon.